Vince Wrightley of Stormwind. As a VMware certified instructor, I'm asked all the time, what do I need to do to become VMware certified and which certification is actually right for me? Right, so there are four different levels of certification inside of VMware. The VCA or VMware Certified Associate, the VCP or VMware Certified Professional, as well as the Advanced Professional and Design Expert. Depending upon your role inside of your organization will determine which level of certification that you actually need to get. Now inside of or with each of those certifications, there are several different tracks that you can choose as well. Uh, things such as data center virtualization, cloud end user computing, network, as well as application platform. What I wanted to go into some more detail on today is the VCP for data center virtualization. So what do I need to do in order to prepare for this and what kinds of things are people going to ask me when I take this exam? Right, so there are a couple of requirements that we have in order to achieve your VCP. The number one thing you must do is attend an authorized VMware class, a class such as the Install, Configure, Manage class. And then you need to request authorization and then uh, register for the exam and pass the exam. So what's on the exam? Well, it's interesting you should ask because the exam blueprint, which you can download, uh, is going to tell you exactly what's on the exam. It's going to tell you the number of questions, how much time do I have, what do I need to study, what topics are going to be covered. Right, so if you click on the exam blueprint, this opens up the document and it's going to tell you exactly what's on the exam. So if we scroll through here, the purpose of the exam, the number of questions, a passing score, a time limit, what are the topics that I need to know. So the exam blueprint, I always tell all of my participants in my classes, hey, this is where you need to go to get the information about what's on the exam. The other topic that I get asked quite a bit about is do I recommend um, a particular book or a study guide or a practice quiz or a practice test? And here's where I point people, right? So there are a couple of things VMware has thought of this. There is a practice quiz which is available to you for no charge. You do have to register for it. But you could take this practice quiz that will tell you uh, some of the types of questions that you might expect, multiple choice, choose one choose uh, all that apply, so on and so forth. So you'll get a feel of uh, the types of questions that they're going to ask you. And again, there's no charge for that. If you want to dive in a little bit deeper and look at um, some things with the study guide or the practice test, these are available to you as well through VMware, uh, but there is an additional charge for them, right? So in this uh, chart here, it shows the cost and what it actually includes. So the official certification guide with the practice exam, uh, just the practice exam, or just the study guide. So depending upon how you want to approach this, you can uh, uh, purchase, purchase this from VMware as well. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more information about how do I become certified and what do I need to study. So the exam blueprint is the number one thing that I would tell you that you should probably go get. Right? But if you have additional questions or which course should I take or you have additional questions about the Install Configure Manage class, uh, please visit stormwind.com. You'll get some details there. Thanks for watching.